Hello and welcome to this new session of the Kubernetes Troubleshootings, Day 6. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to discuss on the new error, unable to connect to the cluster or server. You faced uh, these types of errors several times when you are a, doing a connections between the client to the server, the Kubernetes cluster, and due to several reasons. So these types of error, unable to connect to the server or a cluster when using the cube cutl to interact with an EKS cluster can be caused by the several factors. Okay, so we are going to discuss on the some of the common reasons for this error. Okay, and we are going to also discuss to follow for troubleshooting. Okay, so we are going to cover both the things, the common cause, the common reason for this particular error and how to troubleshoot it. Okay, so in this uh, you can see that uh, I just uh, pasted here the cube cutl config view. So this will give you the config file uh, structure. Okay, so how the um, cluster is configured here, the what informations we have. So we are going to discuss all the things line by line and what type of error when you uh, use the cube cutl get node so it's saying uh, unable to connect to the server okay so something is problem with the configurations file so what are the common cause of this particular error so incorrect uh, incorrect api server endpoint so we, you know that there is some url for the server that we configured in the config file okay so the server url in the cube config or the config file may be incorrect or unreachable okay second cause may be the network issues the network connectivity problem between your client and the eks api server there will be some network issues or that may be the there is some iam permissions issues that you don't have the insufficient permissions for the iam role used to authenticate with the cluster or you might be your token get expired the authentication token uh, may uh, expired and uh, you need to renew it the dns issues the problem with the dns resolutions of the eks api server cluster status is also a cause of this problem the eks cluster might be in a non-operational state or there might be a vpc configurations because your cluster lies in a vpc environment so issue with the vpc configurations that prevent access to the api server and lastly aws cli configurations so you have the incorrect aws cli configured or credentials that you have to renew it okay so you have to remove the previous uh, 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 configured in the AWS configurations. So you have to remove the token and um, just uh, create a new token for this. For the troubleshooting steps, what we have to follow, we have to check uh, the cube config or config file. So you have to ensure that uh, the cube config file, these are the uh, two, uh, troubleshooting steps. Okay. So ensure that the cube config files contain the correct API server endpoint and verify that the the server field in the cube config file match the eks endpoint this is very important and you have the all the informations that we are going to discuss in the lab where we find the eks endpoint url all these things is mentioned in the aws console for your cluster okay now the second point is verify network connectivity okay so this point so here you have to test your network connectivity to your API server endpoint. So how you can ensure that you just uh, need to write the curl, CURL curl with the K and you have to pass the URL here. Okay, the endpoint URL. This ensures that the no firewall rules or security group blocking the access to the endpoint. The third point is you need to validate the IAM role permissions. You have to ensure that the IAM role or the user you are using has the necessary permissions to interact with the EKS. Without the necessary permissions, you definitely not going to interact with the EKS. You have to provide the IAM role. 
okay so the, you can attach the required policies or may, you can create uh, some roles like uh, um, amazon eks cluster policies some policies you can you can define and you can attach it with the uh, with the client with the ec2 machines that you are utilizing as a client okay amazon eks worker node policies okay uh, you have to refresh uh, your authentication token if you are not able to find uh, any problem with these uh, steps then you can refresh with your um, uh, token okay authentication token uh, if uh, aws um, iam for authentication ensure that the token is valid you can generate a new token okay you can generate any uh, any number of tokens so uh, there is a command for this as well like uh, you can uh, write a command like ek aws eks and get token okay get token get token and then you have to provide the cluster name what is the name of your cluster with the dash in the middle okay cluster dash middle and the name of the cluster and the reason as well dash dash reason okay so this ensures that the cube config file is using the uh, correct and the current token as well okay and after that you can check uh, the uh, cluster status okay verify that the your eks cluster is an active state so how you can do that uh, by writing the command as well aws uh, eks and then describe cluster describe that cluster okay and then you provide the name of your cluster then the reason again uh, check the output and uh, the status field okay verify aws cli configurations ensure that the aws cli is configured correctly and has valid credentials okay by aws configurations so you can pass the this informations and this will provide you all the the the, the, the configurations that you done so check if the correct aws profile is been used if you have the multiple profile configured and then it's come for the uh, dns resolutions so for the dns resolutions ensure that the dns resolutions is working correctly uh, you can use the tools like ns lookup or dig to resolve the eks endpoint uh, you can write a command here like uh, ns lookup okay ns lookup and your uh, your cluster endpoint uh, check for the vpc configurations as well okay ensure that the vpc and the subnet associated with the eks cluster are correctly configured and have proper routing tables and security groups so these are the uh, steps for the troubleshooting okay so if you run the command like uh, kubectl config file it will display the config uh, file in your environment okay and how you are um, using the url and all these informations so uh, i will go line by line like um, this one is the api this is the specific api version of the kubernetes uh, configurations okay cluster defines the cluster that can be uh, referenced in the context okay okay and the cluster contains the informations about the uh, the cluster like uh, the certificates and the server url okay you are using and the name of the cluster okay uh, the name uh, you a name is identified for the cluster that used in the context to reference this cluster okay here we are using as a context and the name okay so these all informations is um, just uh, sharing the informations about the cluster okay the certificate is the base 64 encoding certificates but uh, over you certificates you can see here okay so this is the base 64 informations you have okay so the api server address the eks cluster this is the endpoint um, you use to interact with the server this one cluster the name na the name of the cluster the user information so all the things you can find it here 
it's uh, have the argument as well the command uh, uh, that uh, you are going to provide uh, the context the indicates that the context is currently being used by default so what is the current con context it's uh, defined the uh, specific the default context to use the kind information uh, it's have the specific uh, the type of the kubernetes resource okay like a kind is equal to config that you are using here okay so it indicates uh, that this file is the kubernetes configuration file okay and the preference uh, you can contains it contains the user preference uh, uh, currently it's empty so an empty uh, uh, you can dictionary or for the reference this can be used for the user specific configuration option okay and then the users it uh, defines uh, that uh, can be reference in the context so we have the name of the user and that contains the information about the user then we have the exec okay uh, this specify the exec based authentications method allowing for the dynamic credential fetching okay so here we are using the api version uh, it specifies the api version for the exec uh, configurations then we have the args here which have the uh, in the array we can say eks get token cluster name all these things so these are the arguments for the aws command to fetch the authentications token for the eks cluster and here we have the command for the aws specify the command to execute which um, is the aws cli then we have the environment here the name and this specify the environment variables then the value here we have the regional sets the value for the configurations variable to the regional and at last you can you have the provider cluster okay the provider cluster info is false and this uh, have the boolean value so a boolean value indicates that whether the cluster information should be provided to the exec um, say executable uh, plugin or not okay so in current case it is false so these are the configurations details so now we are going to jump into the demo for the troubleshooting for a particular error so this is my eks client okay type some command here kubectl or kubectl uh, get node so you can find that it's unable to connect uh, to the server so if you write a command to view the configurations file of the uh, kubernetes cluster to which we are uh, using for the connections you, you can uh, write a kubectl config view so this will give you all the information which we already discussed in more details so we have the configurations file but there might be some problem with the configurations that's why we are not able to connect but there could be a mere, uh, several reasons for this like network issues i am role permissions that we already discussed cube ctl cluster info so it's also not able to connect with the server so there might be some problem with the config file so let us browse the config file to check so first we will check uh, for the server url because this is the point we have to there might be some problem with the the api server endpoint so how can we identify it so i am going to look into the eks so my cluster is currently active and here you have all the informations and this is the api server endpoint so this is the first point where we are going to see what is the problem so let me copy the url first copy and paste it in a notepad okay and then match with this 
so this is the server so so here you will find that somehow the url get changed here it is sk1 which is correct and we are using sk01 so in this way you have to uh, dig the problem but uh, at the first st uh, step we are able to troubleshoot the problem that uh, the url is not connect means the, uh, the it have the incorrect api server endpoints that we have to fix so we have to remove the extra zero here so where we are able to find this file so this currently we are in the root so if we cd to the home and then cube ls so here we have the config file so let me use the vim editor config and go into the insert mode so i will go to the url and remove the extra zero from here okay let me save it okay so now cube ctl cube ctl get node so now we are able to get the node cube ctl get pod so we don't have any pod in the environment so now when we connected the api endpoints start uh, connecting with the Q, uh, kubernetes cluster or server so you can say in this way you can resolve these types of problem there might be problem with the iam rules permissions uh, and the token might be expired the dns issues vpc configuration as well or the, your cli is not configured correctly so there might be several reasons for this you have to drill down your is issue now you have to troubleshoot it step by step to find the root cause of this problem in your environment so hope you like this video if you didn't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe it share it with your friends